Well, good afternoon, everybody. Today is, uh, what the hell is it? I think it's the 8th of July already. And it's been probably close to a month since I've uploaded a video. We've had, uh, you know, holiday stuff there, our Independence Day. We celebrated our freedom from them oppressive Brits over there that aren't even allowed to have guns now. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, more ham radio stuff. Uh, what you're looking at here is two UB5Rs like every ham radio operator has, or uh, has at least seen one, used one, or owned several. I own a bunch of them. They're kind of okay. I mean, they work. They're not that great. And they're incredibly cheap. Uh, just bought that one. And don't mind my hands. I was working on my daughter's car today, so I'm covered in dirt. Uh, I think I bought this one for $25 and whatever you know if you drop it in the mud you're only out 25 dollars so if you lose it or you break it or whatever instead of being out a couple hundred dollars up to 500 dollars for the nice icons uh what i got going on here i have a simplex repeater and i have a duplex repeater and this is out here just to show you what a duplex repeater looks like now this specifically works for kenwoods or the bowfangs that's the the connection this you can get different adapters to work for different radios. Uh, it's currently set to a GMRS frequency, which I do have a license for, so I can transmit on GMRS frequencies. That's uh, channel 15, uh, 462.550. <clears throat> Run through this. Now, this takes batteries, or you can put a, a auxiliary power on the side, which I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you about that here in a minute. But I just want to show you real quick how this works. This up there i'm on the same frequency as that see where the little arrow is right there i can't point there. right right there same frequency as this guy and i'm going to go ahead and call out real quick test one two three three two one test one two three three two one okay so it records a certain amount of audio saves it and then plays it back transmits it through this antenna it receives in here stores it in here then replays it back through this antenna uh, i did not opt for the large storage thing i don't know if i can upgrade this myself or if i should have just bought the bigger one <clears throat> but i don't know that i actually needed it my need for this at the house is when i am in town which is only a couple miles away i can't reach the house with uh, gmrs so if I set this up on a hill, which will be way up there, yeah, that's the remnants of our Independence Day thing, which was a couple days after the actual July 4th. But, uh, you have a big hill. Well, you're not going to be able to see it through the trees. But anyway, it's up that way. That will be uh, up high enough where I know I can reach it when I'm in our, our local town. And this will all be waterproof and... A better antenna and i'm actually making an antenna for that that'll be in a future video uh, but on this frequency i should be able to talk to the house and the house should be able to talk to me when i'm in that town now to power all this uh this antenna is coming off this battery is coming out and i have two battery replacers when i was going to do the duplex repeater i decided not to do that and just play with it, it it's kind of fun but you know whatever it's kind of a pain in the butt and somewhat useless for my need now, in a shit has a fan scenario, of course, it would be awesome to have. So, I'm not going to throw it in the trash. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'm going to have a power supply right here. And that takes 4 through 28 volts. So, it'll be 12 volts. The battery replacers takes the battery out. And a thing that looks just like a battery slides in, but it has wires coming out that you hook to 12 volts. No, 12 volt, 12 volt. It's going to go in this thing that got destroyed, unfortunately. My wife kind of dropped it off the table, but inside there's two deep cycle batteries. Uh, let me see if I can show you. I think you can see that there's two, two batteries inside there. They're really small, and I made this box specifically for them, but it kind of got knocked off the table. Uh, the inverter I put on just because we're using it here, and uh, the charge controller. Uh, yeah, everything's full. And this thing works great. Uh, the inverter is only 400 watt, and it's modified sign, so it's only useful for... For like lights or something though and this 100 watt energy panel all this is going to be taken in the woods sealed up nice and tight so the weather can't get to it and uh, i'm gonna let it go 
see how long it lasts. Now, obviously not in this state, like I was planning. Uh, I have a Rubbermate tote that I'm gonna put everything in and use a bunch of silicone. So I guess that's about it for today. Uh, got a little bit of work to do to get this up there, but I'm gonna be taking you along with me now that I'm kind of freed up. I'll be able to get back to making videos and stuff like I love doing. So uh, I'm gonna do this here and sound off, <laughs> sign off, I guess. Thanks for watching, and as always, have a good one.